to things that other people don't necessarily like or they're afraid of, things like you know, rats, spiders, snakes, bats. I've just always had a soft spot in my heart for those creatures. They're very important for the environment, for the ecosystem, but people really misunderstand them. My name is Kristen Lear, she, her, um, and my official title is um, Agave Restoration Program Director. Um, and I work at Bat Conservation International. Oh yeah, and Girl Scout, from when we would do night hikes during summer camps, we'd go out and you could see the bats flying around and all this. And then started reading more about them and learning more about different bat species. And from my reading, they were under threat from a lot of different things. And then I got started when I was 12 doing my Girl Scout Silver Award project. I wanted to do a project that helped animals and decided that I really wanted to do something to help bats. So yeah, I built four bat houses um, as part of that project, put them up in a local park in Cincinnati, Ohio, and was super excited to like see if the bats would start using them and roosting them. And my parents and my grandparents were both like all very supportive of my, of my interest. Growing up, I would have like science kits, like chemistry kits, you know, as a kid, and I would do like experiments and we would, you know, my parents and I, my mom especially, would go on like hikes in nature and like collect things and like investigate them. You know, I went to a small liberal arts college, Ohio Wesleyan University. The professors were there for you. Like they were there for the students, but they also did some really awesome research. Like even as a first semester freshman, I got to get involved with that hands-on like lab work, the field work, and help out the professors with the research. That was a huge thing to help propel me in my career. I was applying to different like jobs for the summer. I had applied to the Cincinnati Zoo. At that time, you had to like mail in a paper application. And like, I hadn't heard from them like for weeks after the deadline. Yeah, you know, I called them and they looked in their files and they were like, we don't have any record of your application. They had never gotten it. And they were like, yeah, sorry, maybe next year. So I was absolutely devastated, but that then forced me to look at more opportunities. And that's when I found an ad for needed field assistance for the summer. And you know, I applied and got accepted. Yeah, if I hadn't have had that mishap with the mail, I might have gone to the zoo and who knows where I'd be now. I got the chance to help out a PhD student in Texas. I actually like, got to help do field work, catch bats and mist nets, and radio track them all night. And I was like, this is amazing. And that's when I fell in love with doing bat conservation and, you know, as a career. I continued working going back every summer. And during the last summer, I did my own like honors thesis project. This time, instead of four bat houses, I built 18 bat houses, like legit bat houses from scratch. Got to use our table saw, go to the lumber yard. Within like a few days, several of the houses were full of bats. And just seeing them like streaming out of the bat houses, you know, like I built those with my hands and now they're like homes to bats. Like, oh, it's just amazing. After undergrad, I got a Fulbright scholarship to study a critically endangered bat species in Australia for a year. And again, got to do some really hands-on work with technology that I was not familiar with. Basically trying to test out and develop a method to use thermal imaging cameras and missile tracking software that the military had developed and apply it to counting bats emerging. So I lead our agave restoration initiative across the U.S., Southwest, and Mexico. We were working to restore and augment agave plants, which are very important food resources for three species of pollinating bats. And they're also very important as cultural and economic resources for people in Mexico and in the US. And so we're working to ensure that these migratory pollinating bats have healthy agave plants, healthy agave you know, populations and foraging resources across that binational migratory corridor. Because unfortunately, with these pollinating bats, one of the top threats to them is loss or degradation of foraging habitat, including agave plants. Our initiative is aimed at restoring those populations of agaves to benefit the bats, but also to benefit the people who harvest and use agaves for their livelihoods. People really love bats now, like a lot has changed since I was a kid. There's a lot of interest in bats and bat conservation. People love agave plants, especially in the Southwest US and in Mexico. I love talking to people about them and like seeing their faces light up when they tell their own bat story or share their experiences with bats. I've always thought, you know, the more people talk positively about bats, 
more people share what they've learned about bats, but they get really, you know, like going, momentum, right? And people get excited. There's so. no one right or wrong path in life. I think you make the most of whatever you choose. Don't get too upset if that specific path that you might've had in mind doesn't work out right away. Like just, it's still gonna be good.